Hi everyone, back again with this time with a Halloween haul from, I don't think you can see it there, um, it's actually a TK Maxx bag anyway, it's orange and it, sadly it kind of blends in with my tablecloth which is kind of bright red as well, as well as the bag, so kind of looking like a giant pumpkin at the moment. So I went into TK Maxx yesterday and had a look to see if they had the Halloween stuff in in my local TK Maxx and they had a few bits but I don't think they've got near as many things as they did last year unless they're just getting it in like bit by bit probably um, but they had a few nice bits so the first thing I got is um, this nice little witch as you can see here She's really well detailed. She's got a nice little face with a nice little crooked nose, a little mouth, nice grey wool hair, a little witchy hat, black with orange felt stars on and the back. If I turn her over, she's got a little uh, ghosty there, which is really nice. And this long black um, veil at the back. Her dress is quite well detailed as well. She's got a nice little black frill collar around the neck, a little black button and puffy sleeves and a nice plaid black and white full skirt with a nice little black frill at the bottom and stripy black and white tights with nice little lace up boots there and she's holding a cute little potion bottle. So I thought she was really, really nice. She was the only one on the shelf, so I thought, well, she was looking a bit lonely, so I thought I would buy her. And she was um, 12 99 so not bad. She's quite tall, um, and I think she's meant to kind of sit on the edge of um, shelves or mantelpiece, something like that. So she's nice. Next thing I got was um, this um, like box picture, which is really nice. It says poison on it, like a poison bottle with a little skull and crossbones at the top, and it lights up. Um, you have it didn't come with batteries, but I put two double A's in, and so we just put it on, and it lights up with like tiny little. LEDs if you can see there it's like really really sparkly it looks like tiny little diamonds it's really really nice so I'm going to put that by my bed it's, it acts as quite a good night light as well so I'll just turn it off and that was um, $5.99 if you can see it there so that was a bit different. I didn't see those last year in TK Maxx. I think they're quite new. They had other designs as well, like with um, the candy skulls on there and saying different things. Next things I picked up, these are actually by the till as I went to pay. These weren't anywhere else in the shop. I couldn't see them. They had quite a nice selection of Halloween tea towels. Um, these are like the Valori, the quite thick soft ones, um, they're by Hallow's Eve the make and there's two here thick ones with, uh, they're both the same design with the nice little jack-o'-lanterns there and the little candy corns and they were set at two for four ninety nine. so yeah I really like those, they're really nice. And the next thing, they, they wrapped everything up really nice for me in bubble wrap because um, there's quite a lot of breakables in here. So I'm just going to unwrap this one. I honestly can't remember which one this is. I, um... So this was, um, this was quite a nice little piece as well. So it's a little um, crow or raven. It's quite heavy actually um, and he's covered in, um, he's very black and sparkly so I thought he'd be nice just to stand somewhere by the mantelpiece or by the fire. He's quite well detailed, you can see like all the feathers there, um, quite a nice size and I picked him up because you know he was only 2 99 at the end so I thought that was quite a good buy for him. And the next thing I've got, there's a lot of bubble wrap going on in here. Something else 
that I picked up at the till but actually I couldn't find anywhere else. I actually bought a really nice scented pumpkin spice candle last year. I, I might have been looking in the wrong place but this again I found um, by the till when I was just about to pay. Um, right on the bottom shelf by the tea towels and it's this little... Um, it's not a lot of right um, what, what it says it is here. It says on the bottom, I don't know if you can see that, if it's focusing. Um, it's by Sand and Fog. I've never heard of that make before. And it's um, Pumpkin Harvest. And it's really, really nice. It smells really strongly of pumpkin. The only reason I knew this was a pumpkin candle was I saw this cute little design on the top which is like a wooden top to it and it's got this little pumpkin in, carved into the wood on the top of it which is the lid which is really really nice and then I had a smell and then I thought hmm that's a pumpkin candle so I thought hmm I'll have that so that was uh, and that was only 2 99 so I thought that was really really good and it does smell really really strongly a spiced pumpkin which is absolutely lovely and the next thing, I think there's only a couple of things left in here. I will get this quite large item out in all this bubble wrap. So the next thing I got is this cute little witch driving a lovely orange pumpkin. She looks like she's having a really, really good time there and it's got four little wheels underneath. I'm not sure what it's made of. I think it's just probably resin, but I thought it's really, really cute and it's quite vintagey in its feel and she's quite well detailed. She's got a nice little happy, friendly witch face there. She doesn't look at all wicked or, you know, evil. So I, I really liked her and um, it's a nice size. It's a good weight. Um, doesn't look like you know it would shatter or chip or anything it's quite well made and um, for 3.99 I thought that was quite a good bargain for the size of the ornament so yeah she was quite different I've never seen anything like that before and then the last item I got in the bag is something else wrapped up in a lot of bubble wrap I bought a couple of these last year from TK Max because they do do a, an amazing selection of um, snow globes or Halloween globes, shall, shall I say. And it is this one, which I've seen on a couple of other YouTube videos. I think Midnight Craft have bought one of these as well. And I always love her stuff she buys. She has such good taste. Um, was this little um, pumpkin snow globe, if you can see it there. It's like this pumpkin, skeleton cross pumpkin person, um, sat up against a gravestone at the back there. I think it says RIP on it. And then it's got these other couple of, a bigger pumpkin and a little, little pumpkin with some little skulls on there which I thought was quite weird and it's got the usual um, black glitter in it with a few little black bats in there maybe so I thought that was really really different and I'm pumpkin mad so I had to get it um, and at the bottom you just turn the um, and it plays a little tune place for quite a while actually so it's really really nice a bit different I can't think of the tune it's playing um, no it's on the tip of my tongue but I can't figure out if you if any of you know the tune it's playing comment down below because I just can't think of it and that was um, $12.99 most of the snow globes are $12.99 in TK Maxx so but they're just so they're so robust. I, I bought two last year and I've had them up all year round and, you know, they're, it's 
just brilliant quality there. So that was all the um, items that I bought at the moment from TK Maxx. So I've got quite a nice little haul there. Got quite a few bits, quite different bits that I hadn't seen last year. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. So if you want to see any more Halloween hauls, um, give it a thumbs up. And um, if you like kind of anything spooky, magical, um, I know I've done a few videos kind of based around Harry Potter before, but I do like the spooky season. I do love Halloween. I do love pumpkins. So if you want to see any more videos like this, give it a thumbs up and um, any comments. If you've got any questions about any of the items that I've bought or you'd like to know more about the prices or anything else um, comment down below if you'd like to see any other videos and I'll try to um, answer any questions you might have about anything um, I might do a couple more Halloween haul videos I'll just see like I'm always on the spy out for what's in the shops and stuff um, for any interesting things so um, I know it's only September but hey you know for spooky people like me it's Halloween all year round so yeah so anyway I'll see you next time guys thanks bye